welcome Aquarius to your end of the month reading for June. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you. Okay, this is what you are thinking and feeling this time. I really feel good things coming in for you, Aquarius. I think this might be your time to shine. Feeling this determination, this charging ahead, this getting things done, new cycles coming your way, and a very optimistic um, energy coming through for you, Aquarius. I know for a lot of you, I'm feeling like this, yes, you know. Finally. Okay, so yes, and I do. There you go with the Nine of Swords. Yes, charging ahead, feeling heroic, um, feeling like you're headed toward victory. Um, for others of you, it could be that you have someone coming in um, that's making you feel this way. But however you want to take it, um, however it resonates with you, you are definitely feeling like the Knight of Swords. Okay, so let's see. Remember to take whatever resonates with you. Whatever doesn't resonate with you, just throw away. If this doesn't resonate with you, this isn't your story. I'm so sorry. I wish everything could be everybody's story. Okay. Um, that's just not the way it works, unfortunately. Okay. So, let's see. Clarify on the Knight of Swords for Aquarius, please. I feel like a lot of you already know this energy is coming in. You already feel the positive movements forward. You do have the accelerated motion. You have wished upon your star. You see your things coming in for you. You feel hopeful. You feel the passion. Um, like I said, for some of you, it could be somebody coming in, making you feel like you are a knight in shining armor. You are racing forward, you know, like Superman, Wonder Woman, however you want to, you know, see it whatever your superhero is, right? And, um, but you just feel like the conditions around you are perfect and appear to be really rapidly heading your way. See how this comet is like rushing at him or her, however you want to see. You can take it as, you know, you guys want to. It could be, you know, however, he's wearing a helmet. But uh, this star is coming towards this, this um, hero, right? This hero that's rushing in. And it just feels like luck is on your side. We know the luck. We see the star. We see that comet. We see that star coming towards towards you. So, you know, just go ahead and brace yourself, you guys, because your manifestations are on its way. Okay, anything you've worked so hard for and you visualized is now coming in for you. Okay, here at the end of June. Okay, and if you don't 100% see it at the end of June, it is definitely making its way down. So maybe it won't even, maybe that star won't even fall to the ground until July, right? But no matter what, it's coming at you. And I do feel like a lot of you feel like your energy has changed, that, you know, you've kept the trust and the faith within everything and you feel it coming. Like, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. For others of you who don't feel it coming, um, it's on its way, okay? Sometimes we don't always feel it because we're too busy, right? We work. We do things. We take care of our children. We take care of our house. We have other things to worry about. So sometimes we don't just always, you know, feel that, but it's coming. So let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. I just feel like this is going to go right into July, no matter how. I just, I don't know. I just have this feeling like this is coming straight at you. You're going to start seeing the turnaround in the end of the month and in J July, it's going to hit that ground and it's just going to boom, right? Nuclear explosion, right? It's going to put a dent into your life for good, positive reasons. Okay. So in the present, it's because you're using that intuition, Aquarius, getting that patience and planning. You've been patiently planning on something and this could be, take it as it resonates. This could be work, finances, love, family, whatever. It's because in the near past, which could have been a week ago, two weeks ago, 
a month ago, you were finding the balance within yourself. You were finally finding the balance. You're finally feeling the happiness that's surrounding you. Maybe you have friends or new friends that you're surrounding yourself by that are actually making you feel more balanced, more happy, more up to speed. Maybe you found a new love that makes you very happy. Maybe you've got a new career or you're starting a new career and you're like, you know what? This makes me feel very happy. Okay. And in the near future, you have the victory and the success with the, yes, positive movement forward. You might even be getting ready to go on a vacation. Who knows, right? <clears throat> For some of you, could be. Maybe you bought a new boat and you're like, I'm taking this boat out. Okay, maybe that's what you've been planning and wishing for is a new boat. So you can go out with your friends and your family. And now here it comes. And now you get to bring that big bad boy out. Take her out on the water. Okay, or maybe you have a new big badass truck. Right, yep, something going on. Maybe some of you bought your PlayStation 5, you know? I mean, who knows, right? Oh my gosh, it doesn't want to sit. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh my God, it hates me. This one hates me today, you guys. It's like, no. Okay. Stay. <laughs> okay, so. Yes, that is gonna be one of my big changes is changing these things out for something that is a little more stable. These plastic things hate me. Okay, so you're balanced in the past, okay? You finally found the balance. You're finally feeling so beautiful. Some of you may even have Libra in your chart and that even makes you feel more balanced, right? Or you might be dealing with a Libra who makes you feel balanced. So, but yes, you have the Knight of Cups. And you're just like, oh my gosh, my expectations, finally, I feel so much better. I've expected to feel better. I do feel better. And, and for some of you, I even feel like this, I can't believe I feel this good. Maybe the expectations kind of threw you off guard. Like, wow, I can't believe I feel so good right now. This person offered their cups of love to me and it feels amazing. It's something that I needed. Okay, and it was something you did need. It was a, the move on to the next level that you needed. It was the move that you needed, however you wanna see it. Feeling like you're finally on the right path, that you're going down the street that you need to be on. Okay, so it's for some of you, you did buy something that you could travel in. Maybe it's a tractor trailer, you know, motorhome, something like that. But I do see travel here. So for some of you, you did buy some kind of vehicle. Okay. So yeah. And, but it is the move that you needed to make you feel so good. You finally feel like you have passion about something that you haven't felt in a long time. You've been so through so much. So much three of swords right side up, so much separation, so much heart pain, so much trash that you finally feel like you're winning. You're balanced. You're over it. You've separated yourself from the pain, the hurt, and those other things that hurt you. It's almost like life gave you a second chance. This person may have given you a second chance. However, your second chance is you feel like Maybe even feel like dancing and singing. Like, I feel kind of foolish because look, oh, I'm so happy. I'm moving in the right direction, right? And you feel kind of like carefree and in the wind, like the Aquarius that you are. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Yeah, it's a little over dramatic, but, <laughs> but I do feel that. I like feel this expression of you and it's like, you know, it's so like I'm the Aquarius I need to be. Ooh, it actually gave me kind of goosebumps. <clears throat> that was some heavy energy right there. Somebody just feels so free. And yes, the silly Taurus that I am is going to bring that out in the open for you. Okay, because that's the silliness I have within me. Okay, so, but yes, um, you do. You feel like you're finally yourself. 
just feel like you have the fresh new start that you need, the realizations that, you know, I've grown past all of these lessons. I've grown through all of this trash. You people are not holding me down anymore. You might have even came out of a third party situation that had you feeling like, you know, um, imbalanced, made you feel terrible. And you're like, you know what? Nope. I have separated myself from this other person. Um, or these other people and these people can't get me down no more. I'm emotionally balanced. I feel wonderful and I am ready to move, 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 move freely. I just really feel this free, free gliding on the wind and your intuition over here in the, in the present is open and you're just like, I see everything, right? And you just, you're moving, you're moving, and you're like pa patiently planning. You're like, I've got all of this going on in the past, and this is what I'm going through now. Now you're even planning on doing things. You know, like I said, for some of you, maybe you've got a new vehicle. It's just, they're sitting right next to each other, the boat and the, and the chariot. So, you know, maybe you're planning on, you know, like I said before, taking that boat out, taking whatever, but you're patiently planning something, right? Patiently planning and you have the realizations with the seven of Pentacles. I did all of this work. I put all this work into it. Nothing's going to stop me now. I have prayed. I have manifested. I have done all the homework. I've healed. I've done everything I'm supposed to do and I am moving on with passion. And maybe you even have a passionate new relationship. Maybe you got an inheritance from somebody. Maybe somebody left you an inheritance and it's really changed your life around. And you've noticed things that are going on around you. No matter how you see it, there is so much realization in here. And it's just realizing that you do not have to be in the place that you were before. And the place doesn't mean having to get up and leave a home. It just means the place emotionally and mentally. Because we have the emotional mental cards here. You do not have to be in that state of mind. You do not have to be in that emotional heartache. And you have, like I said, freed yourself. This is really a reading of freeing yourself and being determined to get to the place that you want to be. You see all the options. Now you have so many more opportunities. You have so many things coming together that you are just, you're patiently planning on moving, you know, from this place to that place. You might even be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries and it makes you feel comfortable. You could also be dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio over here that is making you have two Cancers here. So three water signs. So a lot of you are dealing with water and um, fire. And yes, I'm telling you, and then like I said before, we also have Libra. But you, uh, no matter how this is, this is empowering you as the king of wands or this person is empowering you. This person is empowering you, making you see the options, making you more, even more aware with the intuition over here. It's almost like they're, they're even waking you up even more to say, hey, look what you can do, Aquarius, making you see the sun. Leo energy coming out right there, letting you see the red flags around you. The red flags are the opportunities that you have for the realization of planting all the seeds that you have. You have done the homework. You have done everything. Go be determined. You are even a little, probably even a little stubborn about this because you're like, nothing's holding me back. Nothing's holding me down. You know, you might think I'm a little crazy and a little foolish over here with the fool in the past, but I'm telling you right now, I'm on the roll. I am going, going, going. Okay. You're prepared. You know, you're healed. You've got your protection mode up and you're ready to fly. Nothing is going to hold you down. You are prepared with the planning and the patience. So the king of wands is a very prepared person. You have the patience and planning to get to the ultimate sun over here, to the ultimate happiness that you are looking at and watching all your red flags around you, knowing that everything that you're doing is for the best of yourself. And you just feel wonderful. And if this is a relationship, you have the faith and the relationship is going amazing. Queen of Cups. 
could be dealing. We have a lot of cups over here, so I think Spirit's letting us know that your person is more than likely a cups. <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But uh, making you feel emotionally balanced, you are adored, you have a new love, and it's telling me new love in a relationship. This person is making you, for most of you, this is a new love. They have offered you cups like you've never had, and they've just, you've set yourself into um, newer standards, newer heights, feeling more adored than ever before, finding your options in so many different things, whether it's career, love, travel. This person's very good for you. I don't feel like they have you weighed down. Um, they're more your level. So over here in the near future, you have the victory, success, and the and the positive movement forward still. So you're holding tight to what is yours. You could even be penny pinching because you're going on this vacation. You're penny pinching because you want to do whatever it's going, you know, you're going to do. But you're learning to save your money. You're learning to um, take control of maybe even your finances, taking control of the situation and yourself, holding tight to what is yours determined determined to get that positive movement forward determined to have the victory that you believe the world is coming through whatever did not um suit you before in the past is over and done and you know it you know it you have a new world coming through again so not only did you pretty much go through a transformation over here aquarius in the past to get you to this present energy, you are now going to then again walk through new doors again to a new world of determination because now that patience and planning and everything that you have happening is going to come through. So yes, you have that accelerated motion. You're not just going to sit around and do nothing. You're determined to get to everything that you've worked so hard for. And yeah, definitely ten of pentacles coming in you have the achievements that you deserve like i said you've put in all the work and all the effort okay. so i'm going to get some uh, life purpose cards over here some of you may even be you know um finding a new job going to a new job where you're making bigger money more money and you know it However it is, you feel more, you feel more stable <coughs> and more satisfied. Love and light. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to the world. Travel. I'm telling you, your life purpose involves traveling. Anything else for Aquarius? Strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. And that's exactly what I had said before. You're finding that balance. It's like, I've learned the lessons. I understand what's going on. My karmic dues are done. Now I can go live the life that I need to love. You know, that yeah, that I need to love. Whoa, that was weird. It just came out of nowhere. That's not what I was going to say, but that's, that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, live the life you want to love. Hmm. Anyway, I was going to say, live the life you want to live, but I heard love come out. I, that's fine. That's probably what you want. No matter what, that's what we all want. Gray squirrel, find new ways of solving problems. And that's exactly what I think you're doing. And that's exactly what you did. So you just, like, that's what you did here. And then it, you're still doing it. Very beautiful. And, of course, this is a great card for Aquarius, is be different. Be the hyena. Be different. Be the free soul that you want to be, Aquarius. Be that free soul you are meant to be. You don't want to be too grounded? Then don't. Badger, bring your life into balance, and that's exactly the balance card there. So continue. What I'm really hearing there is you were balanced in the past. Continue with your balance into the future. Don't let anything bring you 
into um, setting your scales different, right? Keep your scales balanced. Okay. And the angels say, there's going to be helpful people and taking action. I see the helpful people here with the rejoice and celebration. Like I said, your friends came in, you met new friends, you met a new loved one, your family, it's something, something happened and they just really started helping you rejoice. So take action and you know, those helpful people are there with you. Okay. And for romance, since I see new love over here, I see a lot of love, a lot of love. For some of you, you might've got balanced and had some ideas of what was going on and you may have reconciliated with somebody from the past. It is Mercury retrograde. That does happen a lot during uh, Mercury retrograde. Um, it could have been somebody that you had already separated from who is now coming back. Maybe you feel more balanced within the relationship and you feel that you guys can work together and you're on the same page with each other now. It could be a huge possibility for some of you. And for others of you, we have true love. Pay attention to the red flags. I already said that. That's Here's the pay attention to the red flags. Keeping yourself with the options and pay attention to the red flags. Um, I'm not really seeing that for so much with the love as I am really feeling that for all the options within yourself and for others of you, this is new love and you could be having an engagement party coming up pretty soon and maybe that's what you're doing now. Maybe some of you are actually the cups of love and maybe somebody actually asked you to marry them and this is what made you feel so much more balanced. Okay. And yes, soulmate. And yes, honeymoon. And maybe that's what that trip is. Maybe that's what that travel is. Maybe you're going on a honeymoon, going on an anniversary honeymoon, um, getting married. Okay. So that was your reading for you, Aquarius. And if you are um, having the an anniversary and, you know, you're finding the true love, you know, um, good luck with that and congratulations. And if you are getting married, congratulations as well. Okay. And for all of you who are not doing that, congratulations to your positive movement forward, because I only see this getting better in July. So let's get ready for that July reading. I can't wait to see how you've accelerated in your emotions to getting to your positive movement forward in the near future. Okay. Peace and love my friends. Bye-bye.